Hello and welcome to the channel. If you have been following my videos, you know that one of the favorite tool which I use for downloading and running large language models locally in quantized way is Olama. Olama enables you to run these models not only on commodity hardware like GPUs, NVIDIA RTX 3090 and such, but also you can even run them on CPU if you have plenty of RAM available. If you are looking to convert a model into the format which is compatible with Olama because it is not still available in this models list, then you have to go through a bit of a process where you have to convert that model into a model file and then you have to create it and import it in Olama. And I already have listed that process in my this video which you can search on the channel as how to use model file in Olama. Still pretty valid and good. But if you're looking to automate this process of creating the model file, importing the model which is not present maybe in this library of models on Olama, then you can use this tool which is a simple Python script that enables you to download any model from Hugging Face and then create a model file out of it and then import it in Olama and run it. Now, before I run this and show you, let me give a huge shout out to Mast Compute who are sponsoring the VM and GPU for this video. If you are looking to rent a GPU on affordable prices, I will drop the link to their website in video's description. Plus, I'm also going to give you a coupon code of 50% discount on range of GPUs. Now, let me take you to my local system where I'm running this Ubuntu 22.04. Plus, I'm running this NVIDIA card, which is RTX A6000 with 48 GB of VRAM. Make sure that you already have Olama installed and if you don't know how to install it, let me take you back to the browser and quickly show you for Linux and I already have done a video around it. If you're interested in detail, simply go to olama.com, click on download and you will see that this is Linux and then grab this command, run it on your system and that should install Olama on your system. Let me take you back to the terminal. So I already have Olama installed, so I'm just going to go Olama list, so these are all the existing models. But I'm just going to go to Hugging Face, grab another model and then I will use it. But before that, let's git clone the repo of that tool. Let me take you back to that repo. Just click on this green button here, grab this URL, go back to your terminal and simply write git clone and that press enter. It has cloned it let's see into it that is all good and now let me create a conda environment which is going to keep everything separate from my local system because i don't want to disturb my lo local settings i'm simply calling it o, o l g u u w f and then stepping into it let's wait for it and that is done let me install some of the prerequisites which are torch transformers and hugging face hub let's wait for it to finish this is going to take a minute, so let's wait for it. All the prerequisites are done. Let me clear the screen. Okay, now one thing I would like to tell you here is that if you download this repo and use it, it is going to give you an error because there is some bug in the code. So I have fixed it and I will also um, open an issue in the GitHub repo of the project so that the creator would be aware of it. So let me show you the fixed file. So first I'm just going to grab that file from my local system and move it to the actual repo and I'll just overwrite that file. And by the way that file is this main.py. This is the file which I'm going to copy. So I'm just going to say sorry main.py and in the local directory and it is overwritten. And let me actually show you what this file looks like the new one so the error is in keep coming down this function so make sure that you use this function here and the actual error was in this template one where i have to enclose it in these three codes and then um, escape it with the slash plus also remove many of the unneeded lines there so anyway, it took around an hour of my life, but now it is working. So make sure that you use it like this way. I will also put it in his GitHub repo so that he is aware.
okay so that is done let's go back script is ready let me clear the screen now in order to run it it's very simple just do python 3 main.py click enter it is asking us which model from hugging face we want to uh, download and convert it to olama for that let me take you back to hugging face just select any model you like i'm just going to go with this random model lima 3.18 billion chinese debt let's go back i just grabbed its repo id and i'm pasting it here press enter and from here i just want to go with maybe number five this q4 came just to make things simple it is downloading it the size is around under five gig so let's wait for it to get downloaded speed is very good so it shouldn't take any longer than necessary almost there and the file is downloaded now it is asking you the model now I am saying in my Chinese Lama, you could name it of course anything and I want to run it to uh, the model file so click on yes there you go so it has downloaded the model it is now transferring the model data into O Lama, and then it is going to let us run it and depending upon the model size and your system spec this is going to take a bit of a time but it doesn't take too much time because our model size is small and we have a good GPU and there you go so if everything goes right you should see this uh, message success and model imported successfully let me clear the screen if now I do O Lama list you will see that our my Chinese Lama is there so we didn't have to worry about model file we didn't have to worry about any of other stuff we simply ran this script and it has converted that into our uh, olama compatible model and you can also of course run it by doing olama run my chinese llama okay sorry olama so it's a typo from my side there you go and there you go so i'm just going to say anyhow okay i don't know what this model does so i'm not going to test the model here so and if you do the ls dash ltr it is same stuff so if i go into dl and then into the model ls and then we have a meta file there which you can check if you want to which contains the stuff which we have just created this is a model file it automatically created there so that's it guys i hope that this was useful let me know what you think good effort i mean small little tool um, just a very good use of python and this automating the stuff and i will drop the link to it in video's description definitely if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel if you are already subscribed please share it among your network as it helps a lot thanks for watching